Jen from Tony, Jake and Jen from Bull Mornings. And the beautiful lady sitting next to me is Brittany Kellogg. Hi guys. And she's gonna be opening our Country Fest, which is just a few days away, June the 2nd during Rose Festival. Quick plug, if you haven't got your tickets yet, they're almost sold out, 987thebull.com. We want you to go get those. Like I said, Brittany's gonna be opening. Yeah. So if you're a big fan of her, you don't wanna miss her down on the waterfront. And all these boots surrounding us. So many boots. <laughs> We're sitting in the middle of the boot barn out in Troutdale. It smells so good in so here. Good. <laughs> it smells like leather. I just want to like scoop it I know, same. Just and like we're off. wearing some fun boots. We picked out some fun ones. Yes. But I don't know Brittany very well. I feel a little embarrassed about this. And I thought maybe you might not know her very well either. So we're going to do a little Q&A session in the middle yeah. of the boot barn. So first of all, Brittany, you're a local girl. Where did you grow up? I am. Born and raised in Vancouver, Washington. The Coop. The She's coup. from The Coop. Mm, that's right. Do you guys like it being called The Coop? Yeah, I call it The Coop all the time. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Sometimes people tell us like, oh, stop calling it the Coove. And I don't know if people like from the Coove, call it the Coove. I totally call it the Coove. Okay, confirmed. I'm yeah. gonna keep calling it the Coove. I totally can. Okay, so obviously you do country music. When did, yeah. when did, how do you go from Vancouver, Washington <laughs> to country music star? Yeah. How does that happen? Um, so I grew up on Willie and Waylon and Johnny, like listening old to school. them. Old school. Okay. Yeah. Um, and when I was nine, my grandparents took me to a Johnny Cash concert, and I literally was sitting there watching. Cash. I got to see Johnny and June sing together. Oh which was, my like, god! Amazing. <laughs> I was nine years old, and I remember just sitting there thinking, I will never in my life do another thing than what they're doing. Than so that. I started taking lessons immediately, and have been doing it ever since. You know, you started taking lessons. I feel like there's a lot of people who hear country artists sing and then they're like, oh, I want to do that. But then they like realize they can't sing <laughs> or they don't realize they yeah. can sing until they get to lessons. Yeah. And they're like, oh my gosh, I can sing. So totally. That's awesome. You already knew you loved it and were yeah, good Yeah, I was it. born like singing. My singing? mom says I was born singing wearing high heels and I like, I, I just, I love, I've always loved music. And, but country is like where my heart has really always been. Is there any like particular um, artist that you've met um, that is like your favorite? Like, do you do you have a favorite singer that you've got to meet and like profess your love for them maybe in a way? <laughs> so obviously Reba and I did get to meet her and that was amazing. Oh, but I, my like number one is Miranda and I have yet to meet her. Oh, um, and you I, have to make that happen. Yes, please. I'm like, I would probably, I mean, I just feel like we're like soul sisters. We're like the same person we write. Our mm -hmm. music is very similar in the way we write. Um, I don't hold back when I write songs at all. I'm actually wearing her boots right now. Yes, Miranda has boots and a clothing line here at the Boot Barn. And Idle Wind, check them out. She's wearing them and they're gorgeous. Let's talk about how I stalk your Instagram. Uh, if you don't follow Brittany on Instagram, <laughs> what's your Instagram handle? It's just Brittany Kellogg and it's B-R-I-T-N-E-E -E, and then Kellogg like the cereal. <laughs> um, if you haven't noticed, she's gorgeous, but so like sweet. on her Instagram feed, her outfits are dope. You're so sweet. Thank so, you. like, what kind of routine do you go through to like figure out what you're gonna wear for shows? Honestly, sometimes it's kind of hard because I have so many different styles. Like sometimes I really want to get really dressed up. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I just want to wear like a graphic tee and jean shorts and call it good. So mm -hmm. I feel like I, I don't know. It's it takes a lot. There are so many country shows this summer. You just said you're going to be playing Oregon Jamboree this I summer am. also. Yeah. Maybe you're attending Oregon Jamboree or one of the many shows going on in the Pacific Northwest. If you need an outfit or a look, Boot Barn is your destination. We're going to go shop two of our favorite brands, Idle Win and what was the other? Cheyenne. Cheyenne. Yes, mm -hmm. we're going to go shop those right now right here in Boot Barn in Chalkdale. All right, so Brittany and myself, I think I think we, did we, damage. we are good to go. I think we should probably start trying on. So um, Cheyenne is one of the brands that we're shopping here at Boot Barn. And then we also really like the Idlewind clothes and it's by one of our favorite girls, Miranda. So a lot of these clothes are made by her brand. So the Idlewind brand is hers. So we're gonna go try on all this stuff. All right, Brittany and I have our outfits. 
We are ready for Country Fest. It's coming up on June the 2nd. Make sure to grab your tickets, 987thebold.com. Brittany's gonna be opening, so you definitely wanna be there. And if you still need an outfit, you can grab it at the Boot Barn here in Troutdale. We got our stuff, we're ready, and we'll see you there, and I'll see you there. I'll see you there.